Uh, so until now, uh, all scientists in the world do, do not know exactly the reason behind developing the macular hole. But what we know is that it is something to do with uh, the abnormal attachment between the jelly of the eye and the retina, where there is still a bit of strong attachment uh, in the jelly of the eye on the center of the vision or the macula, we call it. So uh, most of patients normally by age, this separation of the jelly of the eye of, out of the retina becomes smoothly, but uh, in uh, some patients, this uh, separation is not as smooth as it should be and stuck and then cause pulling and then uh, uh, cause the macular hole. So this is what's most of our current understanding. And uh, when do they de develop? They develop usually at any age uh, above 50. And it is very unusual to see it in young patients unless they uh, have any trauma or injury. But most of the time, these macular holes have just happen out of the blue, where patients just suddenly feel that the vision uh, become worse. But sometimes the process of this developed macular hole takes days, sometimes weeks, or sometimes months. But because we don't close one eye on a time normally, so many patients don't notice it until they close one eye on a time. But any patients, uh, uh, usually above 50 or 55 years old, they are more prone to develop this macular hole. They are quite different. So first of all, the macular degeneration is far more common than macular holes. So we, as I, so for the macular degeneration, it increases with age and it's very common in uh, uh, population where they are above 80 years old. Whereas the macular holes could happen any age between 50 and 70 and 80. And the macular hole is a mechanical change inside the eye as mentioned in my previous question. However, the macular degeneration is a more vascular uh, uh, etiology, we call it. That means it happens because there is a changes of the uh, vascular systemic uh, in, in the body and in the eye. And basically there's a bleeding happens inside the eye, in the back of the eye. Since that this macular hole develops in the macula, which is the center of the retina and the vision in the, in, in the eye. So subsequently the vision will be affected mainly in the middle. Luckily, the vision in the periphery usually remains intact in the macular holes. And uh, generally speaking, uh, the longer the macular hole uh, remains untreated, then the, the more the vision will get lost in the middle. Uh, the speed of the lo lo losing the vision and deterioration of the vision in the middle uh, is va varies between one patient and another but most of, of the deterioration happens slowly and gradually. Most of the macular holes uh, continue to enlarge and that subsequently affect the vision even more in the center. But luckily it will not affect the vision in the periphery. Having said that, there are few and some macular holes they, especially if they are small, they may close spontaneously by themselves. And um, on, but uh, most of the macular holes continue to enlarge and affect the vision in the center. If untreated, uh, most of the time the macular holes continue to enlarge, and that will affect the center uh, of the vision. Uh, and um, uh, although the surgery still can be done. Uh, but it is highly advisable to do the surgery in earlier stages rather than later stages. So the first line treatment is to, do, to have a surgery called a vitrectomy. And um, the success rate of uh, this vitrectomy is high. And uh, other, there are other ways of uh, treatment as I mentioned earlier, it sometimes closes by itself, though it's not un, it's not common. Or there are uh, another ways of closing the macular hole by 
in like doing a procedure called intravitreal injections. However, this is very uh, this is not very advisable by many uh, surgeons, and because a it may not be successful, and b it may cause some other problems like floaters or retinal detachment. Uh, so this is the, the first line treatment remains the same, which is to have a vitrectomy surgery. Yes, so most patients can regain two lines better in the chart when we check the, the level of the visual acuity in the clinic. Uh, that means that the quality of the eyesight and the blurred and distorted vision in the center will improve after the operation. On the other hand, I always tell my patients that the vision will never be like 6-6, six, six, uh, like a naive eye after a successful operation. But most patients appreciate the improvement and most of them uh, uh, say that the quality of the vision is, is much, much better than before the surgery. It's a uh, very uncommon. Uh, we saw it in the uh, in very very occasional cases, uh, but uh, the majority of the cases they don't reopen. Uh, 